Hey guys, welcome to episode two of our solo survival series. We're out here in the end because we're going to go do a little end busting. It's time to get a few more shulkers in our life because you can never have enough of those guys. I'm going to hop into a stream and keep recording so I can cut in the good moments and then we'll come back and get ready for the next project. I got a couple ideas in mind, so I'll make a decision while I'm out there gallivanting around the void and then we'll get to it. Here we go. So, okay, we're recording, we're streaming, we're drinking tea. Let's go do some end busting. Okay, we're back at base. We had a very successful end run. Got a bunch of good loot. I was on stream for about an hour and a half, ran out of some steam myself, and just crashed out for the night. Came back on, did some, some more off-camera work, and we came back with some good loot. 60 of these bad boys. We're going to make 30 boxes, and we're going to be set on storage solutions for a while. By the way, you ever notice how many S sounds there are in... Minecraft, shulker shells. I feel like I'm getting a workout on my enunciation. Hopefully I can make the audio sound great for you guys, but I digress. I am a bit of an audio guy. I got some dragon heads, good pick. We're going to throw some mending on that, obviously, and that'll lead me into the story about what we're going to do in the next project. Quick loop through the rest of this real fast, though, for you. You know, your standard stuff. Nothing crazy crazy, but, you know few good pieces to start on, some horse armor. I'm going to have to build a proper stable and do a whole horse thing later on in this series, but for now, I'm just happy that we got a bunch of stuff. So, what's the project we're going to be working on today? What is it? Well, we're going to fix the Enderman farm. We're going to make the Ender Ender end it better. So... I made a basic one a little while back, served its purpose, and somehow it broke. One of the updates did something, one of the Endermans got to it, I, I don't know what happened, but the Endermite was gone, tried to do a quick repair, forgot to name tag, of course, and uh, yeah, so I think we're going to go do a little upgrade, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, obviously, we did a time lapse instead of quick cuts for the run through the end dimension so I think we're gonna do another time lapse for this I'm gonna try and get a third person perspective going but don't hold me to that we'll see what happens because I'm still a little new to this content creation stuff I actually had to re-record this intro oh, about a dozen times because I kept stepping all over my words and forgetting where we were going but uh I'm just glad to be here making content for you guys this is a good time and as always thanks to the community and uh Let's get rolling on this time lapse.
Okay, so in typical Minecraft fashion, that project was a lot larger in both scale and time than I had originally planned on. I got about halfway through before I had to go do some more resource harvesting, and by the time I was ready to build again, I was getting ready to jump into my weekly Saturday stream, so I decided to continue the work there. Since I'm a bit of newbie to this uh, recording software, streaming software stuff, I wasn't able to actually record my camera account while I was streaming, hence the cut to us being here in front of the finished product. Well, kind of finished. I it's fully functional, it just needs a few odds and ends. Oh my god, guys, though, this, this thing, it was so worth all the work. You start smacking these Endermen here, and they start generating up top. It takes, it takes a second if they're fully loaded up down here, but once you get it going, they just come down in a constant stream. Uh, I can't even keep up with the experience. Like, you kill them fast enough so that you can just stand here and wait for the experience to catch up. That's phenomenal. Absolutely a major upgrade from the previous grinder, which I don't think you guys actually got to see, but it's been fully decommissioned. Other than that little trail that's coming out here, which I'm going to deal with shortly, that was the original bridge to get out here to start our first project. Um, so, if you check out how cool this is, I finally figured out how to get my camera account going while this account is going. So, bam, there's up on the camera account. Now, let me come into the other account real here, quick here. I'll start murdering some Endermen. And now you see them spawning up there. The Endermen spawn all over that platform and aggro to that Endermite in the middle. Uh, a lot of this farm uh, was my own design, but uh, it follows pretty standard mechanics from building all the Endermen farms out there. And the piece that's directly taken from... Uh, another design is the centerpiece, which, let me get onto the camera account here and fly in. So, this piece down here, I saw in a uh, Impulse SV in Hermitcraft 7 video, and I believe he based it on a Raiseworks design. So I'll be putting both of those links in the description because I like to give credit where credit is due, of course. I didn't actually wind up watching Ray's video since I saw exactly how to build this in Impulse's time lapse. But I love Ray's stuff and always go to his channel first when I'm looking for farm ideas and mechanics. You should definitely check out both Ray and Impulse. They're both amazing content creators and fun guys to watch. Uh, I'll make sure that links to their channels are also in the description. All right, give me just half a second here to switch back over to... Now, there are a few minor issues that we still have to deal with before we can call this project done done. One being that I have to set up the system to dispose of the excess ender pearls. We are getting an absolute ton of these things dropping, and I have legit experienced some lag on my system due to how many are just floating around on the floor. So we definitely got to make a dropper with a clock and uh, get those things thrown out into the void so they're not causing uh, lag and they're not clogging up our inventory as much. Because as much as you need ender pearls, you don't need an infinite amount of ender pearls. Uh, another issue is that some of the endermen up here on the edges are not aggroing to the endermite. I think this is because I based the radius of the circle on the max aggro range of the endermen and didn't take into account the, that elevating the Endermite will slightly affect how far they can aggro. It might also have something to do with the hostile mob mechanics, but either way our circle is a tiny bit too large and it needs to be slimmed down a little bit. No big deal though, it's still massively efficient. Uh, and at one point we'll probably slice off a few of those outer layers uh, from the ring, but not going to worry about that right now. The last issue, and I'm surprised there are so few, this build went very smoothly is that we uh, obviously just have kind of a temporary workspace and landing platform over here. We need to make uh, the Ender it so the Enderman can't teleport out of their cage onto here, uh, which is going to require possibly some water integrated into the design, which is fine. I've got some ideas for that. Uh, and then we need to get, uh, we get in an enchanting workstation and, uh, you know, Make this place cozy. Get, get a, you know, this is just a temporary little work area to get it up. We need to actually, like, have our anvils and crafting table and 
you know, all that good stuff set up proper, make this place look nice as well. I used to be a really big function over form type of gamer, but as my playstyle evolved, I started to really want things to look really good and beautiful as well as functional. And beautiful is a relative term, of course. Uh, I tend to like the darker, more evil-looking builds. But you, could also, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's got to look good. Uh, so that being said, I think I'm going to dip off here and do a little work. Uh, get a few odds and ends sorted, like the uh, Ender Pearl Dispenser. Dropper, whatever it is. And uh, that should take us out to the end of this video. Uh, I'll be right back. And if you guys haven't liked or subscribed yet and you're enjoying the content, please consider doing so. Uh, it always feels good when your work is appreciated. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys in a second. Hopefully not too much time will have passed between then and now in real world time. Just, uh, just get a few more of these uh, mass murder swings in just for fun. God, I love this thing. All right, I'll see you in a second, guys. And with that, the Enderman farm is done. Well, at least as done as it's going to be for now. We have a lot more styling to do and detail work, but we have also a lot of blocks to harvest to make that happen. And we've spent plenty of time on both this project and this video, and it came out better than expected. I'm going to give this just a moment to load because my computer has not liked this area a couple of times. And let's let's go so I'm gonna go up high this first pass through because so as we come into render you're gonna see all the endermen bam just run and running for that mite love that okay 
Now let's give ourselves a little distance because I'm really bad at this approach still. But if I remember correctly... Uh, there. Oh, fantastic. That was the best I've ever done that, guys. You saw it right there. And here we are in our Enderman farm. We got the, uh, the sound turned down so I don't murder your ears with their screaming. Uh, the Ender Pearls get dispensed out with our little looter system. And I have the sources on either side so it covers it up. I'm going to update this so it's a little more efficient. Right now there's only one dropper. I think I want five droppers under there. Which is going to be fun dealing with all the lava that's already around. Speaking of which, um, you've noticed we brought over our fire and water feature that we are so fond of from our base as well. And I like it. I like that we have the water and the fire. I feel like the Endermen are naturally afraid of water. That's why you have to use it to keep them from spawning. And the fire just gives me this, you know, this, this feeling of wonder. And the fact that we were able to interplay them with this double layered thing with the lava blades underneath, uh, I think it came out really well. And to that, I have to give a shout out to White Canary N7. I was going to either go for an all or none, like either all inside or over and nothing spilling over or have all of it spilling over the whole thing and she suggested we do like the blades and we uh we decided on the corners and the sides and i put these little viewing things by the way we do have optifine again so connected textures beautiful 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 i love it uh, i didn't get to play with this a lot before i went into snapshots so i've been without it for a very very long time and yeah, this place is looking great. We got a little style going. I might put some carpets on there later. There will be another round, as I said, of styling. So uh, I just have these lamps here to make sure the Endermen don't teleport out so that it's only too high. That'll change to something more interesting. I just got to work my brain on it. Yeah, experience is killer here. Uh, you'll notice that I do not have all those levels I had last time I spoke to you. That's because I died on stream. Uh, it was a silly death in lava in the base, especially considering I fell into the void, I want to say once, but it might have been twice, and I had to, like, massively spam rockets to save myself. We currently don't have anything in the chests, but we do have a good little enchanting area over here. And yeah, um, the, uh, the catchphrase of this week is going to be the least catastrophic you could hope for, because it's pretty much the running theme and what defined the last couple of days of streaming but yeah all in all this project came together well uh this video took a little longer than expected you know given the scope of the project was underestimated which is a common thing and it may come out just a shy of where i wanted it to be as far as length but i've already got some stuff that i want to put in episode three i thought about tacking it on here but I'm going to call this one and start moving on to new content so I can hopefully get it out quicker to you guys. And that one will have uh, a lot of lot of interesting little projects going on in it. Uh, I had an amazing time this week when uh, Canary brought in her people. I love the Minecraft community. Everybody is so nice. Um, and yeah, I, I look forward to continuing doing this for you guys. Uh, I'll, and, and yeah. Sorry to get a little stuttered up there. I, I was just having a really great moment where I was thinking about how great it is to be a part of this. So I'm going to stop yammering on. Uh, we'll call it here. Until next time, peace, love, and Pop-Tarts, everyone. I uh, look forward to seeing you in Episode 3. Later.